Norwegian journalists gathered in the Lausanne to photograph Princess Mertha Louise and her future husband, shaman Dirk Verret. However, all the attention ended up on Prince Sver Magnus when he arrived hand in hand with a beautiful young woman. The identity of the lucky girl is already known. This Saturday, August 31, Norwegian Princess Mertha Louise, the daughter of King Harald and Kiwin Sanja, will marry American shaman Dirk Verret a self-proclaimed guru to the stars. This marriage has already caused quite a stir in Norway due to the controversial comments made by the future groom and his scandalous activities. No one could have imagined that unexpected news would change the goals of the photographers. Prince Sver Magnus, the second child of the heir couple and nephew of Princess Mirtha Louise, chose this momentous day to publicly display his relationship with his girlfriend. Prince Sver Magnus, third in line to the throne, is the younger brother of Princess Ingrid Alexandra, the eldest daughter of Crown Prince Hakon, and the future queen of the kingdom. More reserved than his older sister, Prince Sver Magnus came into the spotlight last winter, when he turned 18. On this Friday, the day after the gala evening, wedding guests were invited to take part in a cruise on a steamboat. The three-hour cruise allowed hundreds of guests from all over the world to experience the beauty of the Geranger Fjords. At the Port of Lusund, the guests were carefully scrutinized by journalists and photographers who were delighted with the opportunity to photograph them on the street. These are the only images that journalists can take, as the rights to the wedding have been sold to Hello Magazine and Netflix. The Norwegian Press upset with Princess Mertha Louise for not choosing local media to cover her wedding, took it out on the heir's family when they arrived at the port. Crown Princess Metmerit and Crown Prince Hakon, close family members who have always supported the princess through this difficult stage of her life, smiled warmly and agreed to pose for photos. The royal court has already made it clear that, in solidarity with the Norwegian press, members of the royal family will not pose for photos in Hello! magazine, Besides offering these photographs, the heir's family presented the press with a delightful scoop by revealing Prince Sver Magnus's relationship. Prince Sver Magnus was holding hands with a young woman who was quickly identified. The lucky girl is Emily Giver McLeod, who, like him, just graduated from Elfbacken High School. According to her LinkedIn profile, she is 17 years old and has worked as a model for the Team Models Agency in recent years. She also worked as an employee at Galerie Fignard in Oslo. The young woman was previously seen with the prince during the national holiday in May last year, but she preferred to stay out of the spotlight. Prince Svera Magnus has the honor of being the only grandson of the sovereigns. King Harald and Queen Sanja have two children, Crown Prince Hakon and Princess Mertha Louise. Crown Prince Hahan and Crown Princess Metmerit are the parents of Princess Ingrid Alexandra and Prince Dervere Magnus. Princess Mertha Louise already has three daughters from her first marriage to artist Ari Bean. The couple divorced in 2017, and the father of her daughters has since passed away. This is the first official girlfriend introduced by Prince Sver Magnus. The introduction of this couple was very informal, like the Norwegian royal family which cultivates such simplicity. Similarly, Princess Ingrid Alexandra naturally formalized her previous relationships by inviting her boyfriend to accompany her to various family events. The day before. On Thursday, August 29, hundreds of guests arrived in the city of arrived in the city of Lazel Kromsdal County. This is where Norwegian Princess Mirtha Louise planned to stay and host guests at her wedding. Before the princess says, I do to her American shaman, guests could count on the creativity of the bride and groom who prepared a fun and festive program for them. Crown Princess Metamerit arrived at the event as early as Thursday, demonstrating her commitment to supporting the family. Crown Princess Metamerit, whose journey into the royal family has been full of challenges, has always been able to count on the support of Mirtha Louise According to the Norwegian press, the king's eldest daughter, Mertha Louise, has become like a real sister to her, providing advice and support in both state and personal matters. 
Their warm relationship has often been a topic of discussion, as the sisters frequently appear together at official events, showing their unity and mutual understanding. However, recent difficulties have not spared the crown princess. The case of Marius Borg, Metmeret's eldest son, became a kind of trial, but the crown princess set her worries aside to participate in Mirtha Lise's upcoming wedding. She arrived at the party alone, wearing a mask, ready to reunite with the family to celebrate this important event. Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden is expected at the wedding, but it is unclear whether she attended this Friday. She is expected to be accompanied by her brother, Prince Carl Philip. Among the royal guests who decided to experience this event from start to finish is Prince Constantine of the Netherlands, brother of King Willem Alexander, who is accompanied by his wife, Princess Laurentian. Princess Laurentian is one of the godmothers of Leosadora, the second daughter of Princess Mertha Louise. Princess Mertha Louise's wedding promises to be not only a joyous event for the entire royal family, but also an important step in the princess's own life. On this significant day, she may appear wearing one of the royal tiaras to add sparkle to her look. Among the possible choices are the tiara with Maltese crosses belonging to Queen Alexandra of Great Britain, the floral crown of Queen Josephine of Sweden and Norway, and the Lustenberg emerald and pearl tiara, which belonged to Queen Maud of Norway. This last tiara already adorned the princess at her first wedding in 2002 with the now-deceased writer Ari Bean. The love story of Mirtha Louise and Ari Bean began like a true fairy tale. They met thanks to Ari's mother, who taught the princess during courses at the University of Oslo. Their marriage became one of the most unusual in the history of European monarchies. Although their union ended after more than 15 years, the princess always remembers it with warmth and gratitude. Three daughters, Ahmad Angelica, Leah Isadora, and Emma Tallulah E, eh, became the central part of Mertha Louise and Ari Bean's lives. Raising them, loving them, and caring for their daughters always took center stage in the couple's lives, and even after their breakup, they continued to support their children. Today, as Mertha Louise prepares for a new chapter in her life, her past, experiences, and mistakes serve as important lessons and inspiration for the future. The Norwegian princess continues to prove that her life story is not just a part of the royal chronicle, but a profound and inspiring narrative about love, loyalty, and finding one's own path. If you are interested in learning more about the life and story of Mertha Louise, leave your comments or likes, and we will make a detailed episode dedicated to her journey through life and love.